not filmed here in a while, y'all, because I've been traveling. I'm making this video in collaboration with Penguin Platform, so when you're done watching this, you should go over to their channel and subscribe and watch the video that I did there all about Charlotte Bronte. Link in the description. Now, Charlotte Bronte is most famous for writing Jane Eyre, which I'll admit now, when I was 10, I read an abridged version of it, but I've never read the full thing. I do own this really beautiful edition of it, but I've just never read it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll do better, I promise. So Charlotte, Charlie, can I call you Lottie? There was no possibility of taking a walk that day. Famous first line. In honor of her 200th birth anniversary, Claire Harmon has written a biography of Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte, a life. There's even one of these in it, so you can like keep track of where you are. Oh, that's amazing. So this video was supposed to be my favourite female authors in general, but I was having a look at my bookshelf behind me, and all of the books that I own by women are actresses or comedians that I like, and I just want to snoop on their life. So I need to improve that and diversify my reading a little bit. So instead, I thought I would talk about my favourite childhood female authors. Unfortunately, I do not have any physical books. I loved reading growing up and I was definitely still reading children's books way into my teens um, because I just loved the stories and the characters. So I have picked four female authors in no particular order that I loved growing up. One, JK Rowling. Obviously. Look, I even have on my right hand Harry Potter Hogwarts nails. It still affects me to this day. This hand is Game of Thrones, but that's written by a man, so. So funny story that I don't think I've ever told on the internet before. I was given Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets as a present for my birthday when I was seven years old. They were given to me by my godfather Toby and his partner Karen, and so on the fold of the book it signed, Happy Birthday Hannah, Love Toby and Karen. What none of us knew at this point is that Toby would go on to play Dobby the house elf in the Harry Potter films. So I have books one and two signed by the actor who plays Dobby before he knew he was Dobby. <laughs> I can't prove this to you right now because the books are at my parents' house, but it's true, I swear. Anyway, back to JK. She is amazing. The story and the characters and the whole world that she created and I feel so grateful for the fact that I was part of that Harry Potter generation who had to wait for every book to come out, I had to wait for every movie to come out and I had to wait for my Hogwarts letter. It's still, I think it just got lost in the post. You're such a muggle, Hannah. Number two, Enid Blyton. I feel like everyone who grew up in the UK in the 20th and 21st centuries has read Enid Blyton. Have any of you who grew up in a different country ever even heard of her or read her books? To me, she just seems so quintessentially British. She wrote a whole bunch of books and a whole bunch of series. She wrote Noddy, she wrote The Secret Seven, but my favorite, the ones that I was obsessed with, was The Famous Five. Now, The Famous Five were Dick, Julian, Anne, George, and Timothy. Timothy was a dog and George was actually a girl called Georgina, but she was a tomboy and went by George. They would go on adventures and solve mysteries and then have picnics of ginger beer and lemonade. It was all very posh English countryside, but I just remember loving them so much. There were 21 books in the series, but unfortunately I grew out of them before I managed to read all 21, which made me really upset. Number three, Jacqueline Wilson, also another very English author. So half of you are gonna be like, oh my God, yes, Jacqueline Wilson. And then half of you are like, who? These were probably some of the first young adult books that I read before YA became its own like genre. She's written probably hundreds of books and they're all illustrated by the same guy, Nick Sharrett. So they have this distinct look. They mostly all had a young female protagonist and focused around themes of broken families. So adoption, foster care, divorce, moving home, step parents, single parents, but also other things that children and young people go through like school and love, mental health and friendship. I remember towards the end of my Jacqueline Wilson reading career, I read the series Girls. So I was like, girls in love, girls under pressure, girls out late and girls in tears. I was still pretty young when I read them and I have this memory of them being more raunchy than the rest of them. And there was even a TV series. Oh my God, there was a TV series. Yeah, it was probably just because it involved kissing. And four, 
Eva Abotson. I had a silent love for Eva Abotson. When I was a kid reading her, I never spoke to any of my friends about her. I have no idea if anyone else read her. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it was because I was still reading children's books and I was like 13 and I felt embarrassed by it, but no, you shouldn't feel embarrassed. Read whatever books you want. But I loved her books so much. Her books were like fantasy books and involved all sorts of supernatural creatures like ghosts and witches and monsters. And, ah. It's been so long since I've read them that I can't really remember many individual plots other than her book Witch Witch, in which there is this evil wizard and he's looking for love and basically he wants to find the most evil witch out there and that's the woman that he is going to marry and so he holds this competition and all of the witches in the land come and have to like make evil spells and potions and like prove how evil they are but the protagonist of the story is this good witch who has no idea how to do black magic but it's just so good. Oh, this is just really nostalgic for me. I'm really excited to go back to Manchester in a couple of weeks now because then I'm gonna just go through all of my old books. I hope that they're still there. Mum and Dad, don't throw away my books. Thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know I do book recommendations in my favourites videos, but if you also like these book dedicated videos, like a whole video about books, then let me know because I'll do more of them. Who are your favourite childhood authors, female or otherwise? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every week and go and watch the Charlotte Bronte video that I did on Penguin Platforms channel. Alright, bye!